Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is feeling great. So today I have a huge compilation of everything, every single item in the Christmas range and the winter range for B&M 2021. And today's shout out goes to Just Me Here. Thank you so much for watching my videos and always leaving a comment. I always love to hear from you all and getting to know you is just the best thing. So I've gone through the entire shop basically to film all of the Christmas bits. I've also got kitchenware in this video. So first up we are basically filming all of the decor and I have tried to get all of the prices on there as well just to make your life easier. I love anything with stags on honestly, that's why I really love all of the winter and Christmas range. I really love like the miniature stuff and magical things and animals, so that's why I just love going in all of the shops and looking at the Christmas and winter stock. And just to let you know, my next B&M video for Christmas is going to have like all of the sweets and chocolates and all of the gifts. So if you're looking for good affordable gift ideas and you aren't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe because I'm going to be filming across loads of other shops as well. Honestly, they have really beautiful wrapping paper in B&M. This set was £5. I generally just get my wrapping paper from Poundland, but they are just so classy here. And now we are entering like the kitchen range. Oh, I really just love everything. Honestly, I understand why it's so easy to spend during Christmas, and that's why they have so much stock, because they're just trying to maximise their profits. But I'm like, oh, if I could, I'd add this to my basket, that to my basket. <laughs> So they had a few baking things out that were Christmassy. These were 36 cases for £1.50. And then they had these beautiful rubbin. I love rubbins as well. So another thing that I thought is just gorgeous. This is a coaster and placemat set for £5. And then you have these individual ones that you can get. Those were two. And then they have these plates. And they've got some trees. And then the bigger Christmas trees. They've got some stars at the back. They have like a silver rim. And they also have some heart-shaped ones. And now we've got these gravy boats. I think that's what they're called, right? I never use them. They were Christmassy Santa's sleigh. Those are five. And then you've got some mugs. You've got two. So you've got this gorgeous little snowman. He was 2 50 And then you've got the Santa one. I really liked this. I was like, where is it? Because there was just one. I found them at the bottom later on, you'll see. But that was eight pounds. And then you've got some Christmassy plates. These ones are two. And they've got the traditional colours. They've got some cupcake boxes, these are £2 and there's two to choose from. The other button one says you're on the nice list. And then we're entering all of the Christmas decorations. This is the aisle that I just basically get lost in. It's all magical, it's all glittery and beautiful. So they've got tinsel and there's a few colours to choose from. They've also got these samplers, there's two variations. So if you like to kind of make your own gifts, I really do like hampers because they just look a lot more expensive. They're £5 and there's a lot of other little gift options that you can place in there from B&M as well. Now we're going to be moving on to the really magical stuff. So first off you've got these ornaments. They were three and then these light up. So they've got little scenes in there and I just love the wooden scenes. Honestly, I'm a sucker for all of this stuff. Like I said, I could just add to my basket and add and add. And I loved these cheese. I had some similar ones from Wilco a few years back. But these ones, oh, they're so much, so much better. The snow looks really realistic as well. These were selling in Matalan last year, I think the same price. They light up and they've got like little wooden scenes, you've got two to choose from there. If you like farmhouse, rustic, that kind of thing, they have these decorations for 150 and they've got different things on there. So you can see there's a tree and a few different variations. And then these, I think there was three different styles, you've got a bauble, a star and they have these things that hang down from them and they also light up so you've also got the tree one there and they also different things as well this is what i'm talking about i love animals and like the miniatures and all of that i really really love these so one says love and one says noel and they are six pounds and then you have these penguins reindeers and polar bears they are eight pounds 
I think my favourite are the polar bears, they just look cuter. And then some more trees again, I really love the wooden logs at the bottom and also the artificial snow. And then, oh, I really like these, they light up, I, I really like everything that lights up, so all of these were ticking my boxes, I was like, animals, love, winter, you know, it's just, oh, these lanterns as well, they had these little scenes in there, there's two different ones you can choose from, these are tree toppers, they were three pounds, and then you have your stocking hangers, they were six, and I think there was five different variations to choose from there. Now we are moving on to the actual like Christmas decorations. So these are really kind of your tree and they've got lots of different colours. You'll see, we'll move on and then you'll see like all of the different variations. So if these don't go like according to your colour scheme, you'll probably see all the other colours come up. There's like some silvers, you know, the traditional colours and then there's multi ones. Yeah. So I've always just loved baubles, you know, I think they're just so magical. Like, I just want a Christmas tree in my house all year long with baubles on. I just really, really love it. Please share with me your Christmas traditions. I'd really love to know what you guys do on Christmas Day. They have a few nutcrackers in and then you've got the Christmas ribbons. So these are two pounds or you can have the offer where you get three for five pounds. And then you've got these hearts and a few more red decorations here. Moving on to some green ones. These are some baubles and then purples and blues and these tinsel which I picked up because they are great for Christmas crafts. Some more baubles. These are all multicolored and you have different sizes. Oh, and let me know what colour scheme you're going with for Christmas. And also, I'm a little bit confused, like, do you get new stuff every year? And then what do you do with all of the previous year's stuff? Do you donate it? And are you getting a real tree or a plastic tree and why? Like, what's the pros and cons? And I've got so many questions, you can tell I'm really intrigued and interested. Anyway, now we are moving on to the white and the silver decorations. I really find the white, it kind of looks like ivory almost. It's just so soothing and calming. And then you've got these baubles. These had feathers on. And then these silver ones. I really love the next ones that are coming up. It's like these hearts open up and they've got all of these sequins on. Isn't that just so stunning? It's really beautiful. They were... 250 yep yeah, they were 250 and then you've got some more ribbon here these are again in the silver and white and then they had these merry and bright and then you've got the blue one you've got some wreaths in Oh my gosh, I have this thing for snow globes, I really do. When I saw these for £5 and I saw this one, I knew I had to get that, so that went straight into my basket. Honestly, if I could, I probably would have got the other two variations as well. They had these penguins in, you've got like the cute versions and then the other versions. I prefer the other version, I think. And then again some more baubles here and some stags so these baubles are larger ones and they are silver and then you've got some white ones and some more silver at the bottom these are four pounds don't know how many you get in there there's also some for five then the christmas ribbons again and some decorations so i think they start basically repeating so you've got the same decorations just in different colors so these are the baubles that we saw earlier in the white and this time it's pink i, I really love a pink christmas look at the hearts in pink they look really nice as well Oh, and I really like these trees because I didn't see these, all the velvet reindeers. I didn't see them in the other colour, so they seem to just have them in pink. I think if I was to decorate, I'd probably go with the lovely pinks and then the cream ivory colour. I think that's a really nice like mix the two colours would go really nicely with each other and I really like the heart baubles. Oh, and then some gnomes, look at how chubby he is, he's so fat. <laughs> They had him in last year, I believe, as well. Oh, and then we saw some pink penguins. You've got some more stags here, and then these feathers, and then those spirally things. Some more wrapping. Oh, I really like this one. These were just a pound, so, you know, same price as Poundland. You've got some cards here. 
they've got loads of cards and different prices different amounts that you can get in there some crackers i always love the crackers it's funny because we set a parade right and we don't have any decorations it's not like you can walk into a store and there's like a decoration so what we used to have to do is wait until christmas time and then we just grab like the tin store and things that we could work around um yes yeah, so it's just funny because we never really have anything and we just had to reuse like tinsel all the time the same tinsel and i feel like tinsel has kind of got outdated now thankfully there's a few more e decorations online now so we're not just stuck to tinsel and then we've got these gift bags i really like the traditional ones actually with like the father christmas and all of the lights i actually use these gift bags and turn them into a frame and then i put like led lights on there it really turns out lovely i've got a diy tutorial for that on my other channel if you're interested and then some more crackers up here They've got these paint it on Christmas decorations which I thought would be really nice, like a little crafty activity to do with the kids. They had these bumper pack things, well, I thought that they were just such a good price. They're coming up now, look at how much you get in there. That was just so good for a pound, like seriously it's such good quality as well, so I definitely recommend these. They had these really large gift boxes and you could literally put a puppy in there, mind you. A puppy or a dog or any animal is not just for Easter or Christmas. I'm actually dealing with a rescue case that I have taken on. It's a little white cat, poor thing. I think he was a lockdown pet and it's just really sad seeing all these dogs and animals that were adopted from the shelters are back now on the streets or back at the shelters. Yeah, it's just not really on, is it? Oh, I really loved these, these nutcrackers in gold and these light up and they are just covered in silver glitter. These were adorable, they are just £5. They've got two different ones, like one's got a silver hat and one's got a cream and then you've got some more decorations here. These, these are just so full of like glitter and jewels, they're just so addictive to look at. Oh, and look at how cute these are. There's like a fox and then three different animals on top of a deer, just for four pounds, covered in glitter again. These are super sparkly, three trees that like, stuck together. And then these gnomes, which I actually really liked. They were just four pounds. I think I prefer these over like the teddy type of gnomes. And then these polar bears, oh, with their mama. And these are like Santas, they always remind me of like the German markets but look at how cheap these are, like if you got this in the German markets like it would literally be like £25 <laughs> and then some more ornaments here, animals again, I really love them, please like <laughs> keep me away from b and honestly I was blown away by their Christmas and winter range, they had these frosted trees that light up and then these stickers which I thought were really nice, 250 I can't remember, I think I, yeah I did, I picked this up. So I picked this up and then they have these. I thought how nice would this look if you add it to like a glass and then put an LED candle in there or even just a regular normal candle. And then these, what are they called? Sacks, yeah. I was going to call them a uh, stocking, like you can tell I don't know anything. <laughs> very Christmas but I know these are stockings I just kind of got a little bit confused there but these have alphabet initials on this is going to be part two of the B&M Christmas range don't worry if you have missed part one it's not like it doesn't make sense if you watch this video it's just that it was very big so I basically split them up into two I'll link that for you in the description box in the comments if you just want to click that and check it out because what was part one i think yeah it was all of the kitchenware everything christmas related so it was all the christmas kitchenware homeware and all of the decorations oh yeah they were really beautiful so definitely don't miss that video so this video here is going to be like all of the chocolates and sweets and the gifts so this is great if you're looking for gift ideas and i have recorded the prices of everything so that should help you out as well you can just have a little notepad and pen if you want to jot down any gift ideas that you see 
And I just have to thank you guys so much for commenting on my last Beano video because it was just so nice getting to know everyone a little bit more and learning just to see what you guys do on Christmas as well as how you're going to be decorating and the colour schemes that you're going for. Yeah, it was just really nice. So after seeing some of those chocolates earlier on in the video, by the way, my favourite is celebrations out of everything. Now we are moving on to some nice gift options here for coffee lovers. My husband is a coffee lover. Coffee? Coffee lover. I am more of a tea drinker. Not to say that I don't like coffee, I do. But I just get a little bit too, like, antsy and weird and, yeah, I just don't like how it makes me feel. So I tend to just stick with my herbal tea. So let me know if you are a coffee drinker or a tea drinker. My mum loves both, actually, but I think she definitely drinks more tea. We, we're like a tea family. We do have Arabic coffee, so that's, we say bun. Oh, by the way, I have to just stop talking here because these gingerbread houses I really, really love. I love anything like gingerbread houses. So I feel like I couldn't eat it. I don't think I actually like the taste of it, by the way, ginger. I'm um, like a gingerbread man and stuff like that. My mom does. But I just find them so cute. It's like candles. You know how you find really pretty candles? I just can't burn them. I don't know if anyone else is like that. So the gingerbread house, I feel like it would be really nice to make and put together. And then I would just feel so bad I wouldn't eat them. So you've got some advent calendars there. And then we're moving on to these huge tubs of sweets. Like, I think this is such a bad idea to have in the house. Like gosh they're just so so huge and there's just so much to get through and if you've got kids like you definitely have to hide these but they've got these retro ones which i love i love retro sweets oh my god i had these growing up and you know they're still my favorites then you've got these tubs of oh, not sweets they're chocolates aren't they yeah you know, you've got some sweets there and they're all a pound same price as poundland and then you've got some bar chocolates here. You've got Freddo. Oh, that really brings back memories. I used to have a little frog for my lunchbox, as part of my lunchbox, rather. You've got some jelly babies and then licorice. I don't like licorice, but my mom really loves them. And then they've got more of these retro sweets. I don't know why it says four pounds on the bottom, because on the top it says three pounds. By the way, what do you guys do with all of these sweets and chocolates? Like, do you use them as some stocking fillers or is it just, you know, as like dessert kind of thing? Like to have it with friends and family when you've got like a party or something going on. Yeah, I don't know. Cl clearly, so, I mean, with aid, like we have a party generally and that's why we would have like all these sweets and chocolates, but we don't really give them as gifts. And I love millions. They can be a little bit addictive and I also love Maltesers. So yeah, just, you know, if, if you're trying to diet or anything, close your eyes, don't look at this whole range and keep away from it because it's just so easy, I mean, like, to have junk, isn't it? And then you've got some of these orange sweets, they are super sweet, oh, I don't really like them at all. And then you've got the candy canes, you've got some bucks of bugs, so these are nice, like, they are kind of like, I suppose for children... Um, you've got some hot dogs, you've got some snakes, and whoa, those are huge. Who remembers? I, I remember those strawberry sweets and the cherries, but they are huge. Like You'd need like a whole month to get through that. And then you've got some more here from drumsticks. Drumstick, rather. I don't know why I added an S set. And then, if you want to give someone a really naughty gift... Like, give them a deli belly for Christmas. <laughs> They've got all of these hot sauces in, so... They've got these like packs here you can see for five pounds and then they've got a lot more like these ones these look <laughs> extra explosive <laughs> two pounds you've got these other ones that literally like just scream like try me if you dare <laughs> you've got these street sauces they are seven and some more hot sauces here i'm really tempted just to buy them to see how hot they are 
and then some Jacob's crackers these are really nice because there's a few in like a selection box and then you've got these tubs Twiglets. I haven't seen Twiglets for so long. I remember when they actually brought them out to begin with. It was um, like a limited edition and then I think people really liked them. It's one of those things though, isn't it? Like Marmite. I think it actually has Marmite on there. I haven't had them for ages. I just remember trying them when they first came out and I didn't like them. And then you've got all of these biscuits. Oh, that's another thing I really like about Christmas. Like they, they come out with these beautiful Christmas um, tins with biscuits inside. You've got like stag ones. My mum picked some up with fairies on from Costco. Oh God, I'm like, please, can I have the tins? <laughs> but obviously she bought them for herself. My mum really loves these um, classic shortbreads as well. So that's something I always pick up for her around Christmas time. So this is what I was talking about. Look at how beautiful that tin is. It was £4. And then obviously you get the biscuits inside as well. Some more advent calendars here. Maltesers and Galaxy. That's my favourite. You've got some more sweets here. The candy canes. They've got two different flavours. And then now we are moving on to the gifts. So this is super exciting. The the beginning was just a warm up getting you all into the main meaty bit of this video. I actually wanted to ask you guys what do you think of handmade gifts because a lot of you know that I'm a crafter but I really hesitate to gift people like my crafts or things that I've made even if I make them for them. I hesitate because I don't want people to think I'm cheap and like that I'm trying to give them this as an alternative for buying something but I also feel like it's you know like more touching I suppose I don't know that's just me but I do tend to not gift people things that I like make I don't know I just don't want them to think I'm trying to get out of spending but you know a lot of time and effort goes into making something anyway I really liked this section here everything was just so beautiful in terms of colors and everything was super soft and fluffy so they've got a lot of water bottles I don't know why they always come out with water bottles at Christmas is that a thing because I can't really understand it. or is it just because it's kind of like winter time they had these super cute mugs in that like you have a little space to put a cookie in and I've never seen anything like that before I thought that was just so cute then they have these mugs in they've got a lot of mugs like with socks in some that come with hot chocolate and then you've got these um, pens which have like affirmations on and I really like that I'm, I'm all into like the positive affirmation stuff another water bottle this one's part of like a hot chocolate set You've got a lot of hot chocolate stuff because obviously it's winter time as well. And then some more water bottles. These are, I think, water bottle warmers and they are in the shape of a fluffy, beautiful rabbit. Some more mugs here. And then this section here I thought was so cute because it's all dedicated to dogs. I mean, cats should have a section like this. I don't know why. There's never anything for cats. But... I thought, you know, even if you don't have a pet, I think it would be really nice and sweet if you have a friend or family member that loves their dog and has a dog that you brought, like, a gift for the dog. That's what I do anyway. Like, my family, we're a family of, you know, people who basically love cats. And so I always gift their cats along with them. It's just really nice. I have this jellyfish lamp from Amazon and it was a lot more expensive than £10 and it is so beautiful so I definitely recommend that. This section here is kind of like I'd say novelty gifts. You do have some like Disney sets here and Star Wars and those are kind of traditional gifts I would say in the sense of it being you know the typical gift set, shower, scrub and all of that. They've got a lot of like light based stuff here so everything lights up and you've got xbox playstation stuff like i have no idea about any of that stuff but i thought that the heat changing mug was really nice and then you've got these which are kind of retro like the lava lamps they were out ages ago and it seems like they're having like a comeback you've got this flask and mug travel set then you've got these really fun games and I thought that's really nice because obviously during Christmas you have family around and it's just nice to have fun together and let loose. I do feel like they're a little bit pricey because they look quite simple but a lot of them were like four or five pounds. 
do you have a lot of family to buy for and how do you budget like do you have a certain amount that you put for every person you buy for example each person has five to ten pounds or is that really cheap i don't know i used to be kind of expensive with my gifts but my family is growing so it's kind of hard to give everyone the same budget i used to so i'm starting to go down a little bit in how much i'm like giving everyone and do you buy one gift per person or how many do you do? Because I used to gift people three gifts at least. And like I said, now it's kind of gone down a little bit because I just couldn't keep it up. But you guys have stocking fillers as well, right? Is that just for your own family? Like if you have children um, or is it for like other people, other extended family that come over and things like that? Oh, who remembers the inflatable chairs? That's another thing that, that was like from back in the day, from the 90s, and it's come back. And then you've got these retro arcade games. They're quite small, which is nice, because they're like a keyring, and you could just play it when you, whenever you're out or anything. They've got some makeup, and they've got more makeup coming up in the video. And then this whole section was Harry Potter. My mum is crazy about Harry Potter, so she would love things like this. You've got some flasks, and I've always had my eye on this because oh, it's just a self-stirring mug in the shape of a cauldron like you can't beat that i think these are socks there you've got peaky blinders um notebook some lunch boxes some more bottles and then these are like notebooks you've got the feathered what's it called now the feathered pen i can't remember what it's called and then some more kind of novelty gifts i would say so this is nice because it's kind of like the traditional gifts and a little bit of a spin i would say so it's not as boring as getting like the typical oh thanks you know the gift set of like i said before shower gel and all of that we're coming on to the perfumes now and they've got also got some hair straighteners which have been reduced and then some more gift sets here these i used to always get but then i started feeling like oh it's a little bit too typical so i started trying to think of each individual like who they are what they like and then tailored their gifts to them like that rather than getting these typical like l'oreal adidas i have to say the david beckham one is nice and i do like nivea so if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please do click that subscribe button. I get a lot of people watching, but not everyone subscribes. And I would absolutely love your support. It just helps me to keep going. And I am going to be filming everywhere that I can, basically. So as soon as the stock starts coming out in the shops, I'm going to be going. So I want to go to Wilco and Asda as well, among a few others. So these are really nice gift sets. I, I wouldn't mind this and I don't even wear makeup really. They've got these contour sets, are really nice shades as well. And then you've got these lip glosses and they're sort of like in the sweets theme. And then some bath fizzers. As soon as you come in, they've got these pieces, which I really love. I always love the wooden scenery stuff. 10 pounds, you've got some nutcrackers for eight. These cute bears with Christmas hats on for three pounds, set of three nutcrackers for four there. Poundland do trees like this for five pounds, they're eight pounds here. And then the Santas, eight pounds, that's such a good price, 30 centimeters. They are really well made as usual. Some snowflakes set of four here. And then you've got some baubles. I love the heart ones. And they do them in silver over here as well. I love all of the woodland animals, they're so nice. Some fat gnomes, <laughs> they always make me laugh. The penguins in pink, they're always so nice. I love the street lamp as well. All of their food stuff. Don't come shopping when you're hungry, huh? <laughs> This is a bigger branch of the &M, so I always come here to spoil you guys. Aren't I so nice? <laughs> all of the chocolates down here. I've filmed all of these in detail. So I'm just checking what else there is for Christmas after they've removed all of their Halloween stuff. That's a nice Christmas gift there. Colour them in, two for 20 on the toys. 
that's $12.99 otherwise. And they've got these. Oh, they brought those back in. I remember these from back in the day. I used to love things like this. Tattoo kits. And this. Two in one table top. Oh, this used to be like my dream. Look at all the dresses that you get in there and the shoes and accessories. $12.99. Such good prices as well. What did you used to like as a kid? Oh, chemistry sets. <laughs> That's like my eldest brother. She's got a bike and even a little baby. Wow, well, look at her. She's so in shape and <laughs> she can do so many things, take care Such of her a baby. In <laughs> <laughs> this one, she's got sw um, swimming pool, dolls, and accessory set. <laughs> little puppies. Okay, this is the Super hashtag cool. reality. <laughs> Mum with a thousand things to do. <laughs> and there, look at that. Oh my gosh. Ironing, sewing. Oh, okay. It looks more like an iron and. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, this is actually way better than those old ones. Like, look at this. Like, be a vet, you know, work in a shop, fashion designer. Yeah, this is progress. This is, this is uh, making you ready for the reality of life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a plan gauge. Now you've got a princess one there. Yeah, I, I would have loved something like this. I used to love horses and ponies. I wasn't ever into makeup, even as a child. I didn't like this kind of stuff. This is the stuff I used to love. And these. Yeah, I used to love animals from a young age, actually. That's cute. I like that. A pot noodle, heaven. <laughs> Seven flavours. Are there really, like, I've some never had one pot, cra pot noodle crazy people? I've never had one before. <laughs> Look, some more gifts up here. So, yeah, I didn't used to really like dolls like <laughs> I that. I honestly don't get it, to be honest. Why would a child want to take care of a baby? <laughs> <laughs> and then when you give them the real deal, like a baby brother, they're like, nah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really like stuff like this, you know? I don't get it. Um, as much. I think I did. I can't oh, remember if my sister they had copy one of mom, those. Isn't it? Is that why? I don't know. I kind of, I don't know if people find gifts like this outdated now. As a kid, now. I would have liked that. I would have loved that as a kid. Yeah, that is cool. The cats would like that. Yeah. That one is quite cool. I remember when I was a kid, they had this, for the first time, this robot dog. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I used to love that thing, but obviously I wasn't allowed it. <laughs> Lots of nice gifts there. That one is cool as well. We all had things like this growing up. We've got some Christmas selection. You've also got um, some sweets in there as well, not just chocolates. What are these? Is that Never candy? heard of that. Just add water. Three instant sticks and a pack of mini marshmallows. Does it say the price? One forty-nine. It's really quiet in here actually. It's a lot nicer and relaxed filming in this store. Cadbury's chocolates and then they've got Ferrero Rochers. This no, one's no, no, no. really cute. Raffaello. Tastes really nice. Yeah. Wow. Look at this set here. Eight pounds. They've got some Christmas wear in, some festive PJs, five pounds. They've also got these, eight pounds, also available in kids' sizes, which is really nice because you can all match. And then some slippers, they've got initials on, and gold, four pounds. Uh, three pounds, sorry. I don't know why. Some of them are three and some of them are four. More things here. Are these men's? No, these are still kids. 
but again for matching family PJs. I've even got some for babies. They've got some really nice bed sets and throws in. A few more gifts here. You've got some friends one. I don't know why friends are like trending lately. What is this? Face palette. <laughs> Lobster. So this is the home decor. I have got a lot of this already. So I'm just gonna try and have a look at what's new. These are new and they smell so nice. I love the arrangement as well. This is how it looks, look at how magical it looks very rustic this year these are new i didn't see them before three pounds and these stags just eight these are nice aren't they 250 this whole aisle smells so nice candles are four and the smaller ones are three look they've got some more of those teddy um, like the what do they call it juniper woods range the lamp is just 20 I think this is new didn't, didn't see this one before Some wreaths, six pounds for this one, and it looks a lot better quality than the ones that I've seen in Dunelm. That's actually a really good price. Yeah, they are really nice. Another lovely wreath here. It's in the Juniper Woods range, six pounds. Some new candles in. Oh, I thought that they were joined together. <laughs> They're not six pounds each. These are just two fifty. I think I got one of these last year, five pounds. They did get reduced. I think I got it after Christmas. <laughs> this is so nice. I want to make something like this out of clay. It's just three pounds. There's a few Christmas arrangements here as well. Seven pounds. This one, how much is that? I do love the berries. Look at how shiny. Two pounds. Like, this is so good. I'll just buy it just to take the berries out and use in a craft. Do they have any more Christmas kind of stuff? This is 2 50 They also got these in. Oh, look. These are new. Five pounds. It's so nice. It reminds me of the gingerbread from Shrek. What was his name? Gingy. It's been so long, I can't remember. These are also new. This one looks expensive. Afternoon tea. $2.99, Hubby was saying they're a really good price. We've got four pack there and they're taller, seven pound. Some new re-diffusers, winter spice, just three, good gift options as well. Scented candle, red. They've got these glitter tea lights in as well. Two different colours. Right, we are in the kitchen section. You can see there's a lot of Christmas bits here. And again, I have filmed a few of these. So I'm just checking what's new this. They have a gnome one in Poundland. Oh, look, speaking of gnomes. Santa one. I do love the mugs. They are so cute. Just 2 50 Good price. Cutlery holders. Some tea towels. Some nice bowls in. And I saw these, but there's no price. And I kind of wanted to know because they're really nice 
to add to crafts. They are supposed to be for your window. They've got a few different designs in. So these are snowmen at the top. They had a really nice one. Look at them. This is like some stags with trees. And then they also have a, like a Christmas village. They are so good. It's a shame there's no price. I know that they have something that you can scan and check prices. Let's see. Um, I wanted to ask. Home Bargains had this. Yeah. I think it was cheaper in Home Bargains, wasn't it? Was it six? I can't remember, but I don't think it was eight. But they didn't have this like burnt in it. Yeah. Slightly. Awkward. These are cute as well, one pound. Some napkins, pre breakfast plates, dinner plates. Down here we've got a pack of placemats and coasters. These are all brand new. This one's caught my eye. How cute are these? 25 party plates. I really love the drawings, the illustrations on there. Two pounds. There's a few different designs as well. Some more placemat and coaster sets. I think I filmed that last time, but I do love the Robin range. Look at the plates, they're so nice. They've also got matching coasters, mugs, and bowls. Christmas time written in there in gold. And they've got some silver ones. Trees and stars and the mugs. Table cloths here, you wipe wipe clean ones. Merry Christmas. If you love the kind of the, the simpler ones, they do have some designs on as well. Slate serving board. That's not that Christmassy, is it? And then the rest are all just white. Do you have that one there, silver speckled one. This is nice, I like the gold and just the drawing style and the font style. It's so big that kids are literally running around here. And then this section is like trees and stags. I love these. They almost look like they are hand printed. Time to get cozy. Don't mind if I do. Some more bowls here, stag bowls, 2.50. And then these, these seem to be new. I've only seen these this year, like in different places as well where they've got an animal or something on the top of the jar. And I love clear mugs like this. They've got some more tumblers, stag ones. Um, also there you've got the tea towels. Lovely, lovely mugs. If I could, I'd get all of them. These aren't Christmassy, but I do like them. Dotted around, you'll also find some of these cookie cutters. Green and red, two pounds. They've also got these sacks for seven. And they've got the stockings. Luxury for four pounds. What are these? Gunk Hottie. Oh, it's one of those that you put in the microwave and they warm up. That's a nice gift, I think. Five pound, you've got it in pink as well. I do prefer the pink one. I've <laughs> got some more gifts in. Candle and match. That's very interesting and unique. Alphabet trinket trays. Water bottles galore. I do like these. Where's your, yeah, but there's the ones that you can put your cookie in. What's that all about? You put your cookie in. <laughs> Lots of initial stuff here. Yeah, I filmed all these for the pets. <laughs> I think it's so cute. All for dogs as usual, no, nothing for cats. This is the real Christmas aisle. 
Winter Wonderland, lots of lovely gift tags and gift bags. Robin ones, Winter Wonderland ones. What are all of these? Gift boxes and cards and then you've got the adhesive labels. Those are so cute. <laughs> Little cards like this. We've got ribbons for 150. Gorgeous baubles at the top. £10 for this set, they're new. Love them. Um, not that I do Christmas, but a pink Christmas is so nice. I know it's not traditional, so not everybody likes a pink Christmas. Look at the baubles down here. They're so nice, 3 50 Lovely shades, lilacs and pinks there. Gold box for 10 Got a luxury gift wrap pack for 5 Smaller baubles, 40. What are these? Ornaments, feathered ornaments. These are new. Light up houses. It's so pretty and magical, everything is. This is just a quick overview because I have filmed all of this so I'm just giving you a quick overview and then pointing out the new stuff like this. Where did we see that? Home Bargains was it? Home bargains yeah. As well, yeah. I think it was cheaper there, yeah it was. The snow doesn't blow that hard. Some really nice ribbons so you get three for five or two pounds each. I always pick up some of these. And I love this whole section. This whole section is probably my favourite. So these are new. Oh my gosh, look at them. How much? £10. That is just such a nice... Oh, that, that's just such a good price. Um, there you can see I'm stuck for words there. That's also good value. Oh, that's so pretty. Because you get the different sizes and then you've got the other ornaments in there too. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. £10 is so good. They've got similar ones in Poundland for five, but that one is really pretty. Animals, ornaments. These are new. Didn't see those ones before. And these are new ornaments as well. £2.50. And these. Look at how rich that red is. Oh, <laughs> clip on. Uh, robin's hair. They don't look like robin's hair. Looks like a cat toy. Yeah, it does. Two pounds for these. So cute again. And I love these. They always point these ones out. Is that it lights up? Yeah, they do. Well, let's check it out. Some more nut crackers at the top. Luxury crackers there. Look at these. They're so nice. Merry Christmas metallic foil balloons for two. These are nice. I haven't seen like this is so bright and here's just bright in general. £15. They've got some fairy ones as well with long legs. Or angels rather. Are they fairies or angels? Feather bowers. They used to do one in Poundland in the wedding section. Just for a pound so. It's a shame they don't do it anymore. Lots of bows and tinsel and then you've got lots of lights here that looks quite magical there's some lanterns here I showed it them earlier but you can see now the lights are on some more lights here six pounds pine cones in silver and gold lovely stockings here they're so soft, super soft. Tree skirts, Santa chair covers here. You've got make your own hampers at the top. Some trees here, ten pounds. This one's fourteen. And then some more lights. 
I think those are the cheapest I've seen. Tree tuppers, they light up as well. Five pounds. And then more tinsel and sacks and tree skirts. Lots of stockings. And then some big snow for a pound. We've got some more plates for the kids here. This is the stuff I love. Light up and musical carousel. And I've just spotted something else that I really love. Look at that. Oh. And I think the snow must fly around. You've also got one at the bottom. The cars. Well, that's way more impressive than the other one. That is so nice. I need to make something like that. I wonder how long this is going to go on for. There's the car one. There's, so there's three different ones that you can choose from. And the pink houses. They're nice. And then these cars I had in last year. But I really like them. And then all of the rustic stuff here again. On this section. I used oh, to not wow. like wreaths, but now Look I do. At that. Yeah, I've just spotted them so You know I'm going to press it. £15. Go on then. So <laughs> that, that goes from the top so it's actually snowing. That's really nice. Music, lights and snow. Like the best of all three things. £15. They've got another one at the top here. And then the snow globes, which I picked the swan up. Magical lamp posts, £10. Oh, that one's really nice. Yeah, they're really good prices. Look at these, 2 50 I wish there was a pink one. I can make something like this. £5. Hopefully I remember. They've got some snowflake hanging decorations. Pearl garlands. Two fifty. And glass pumpkins from Halloween are still there. That's another wreath that is quite nice there. It's a bit of a mess here as you can see. Silvers. Teddies with hats on and gnomes. And then gold. There's this merry Christmas garland for five there. And then some more crackers and gift wraps. So that looks to be the whole entire Christmas range. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to see more. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.